times less Excuse me, coming through. Looking foxy for an older check. Oh, Harold. And action! Hello, fans of extreme skating. Today, I will be executing a tasty front nose rail slide down the escalator, followed by a melon 360, if I don't kill myself. Jude, has this ever been attempted at the mall before? No, Jude, it hasn't. <laughs> then we're in for a treat. Yes, Jude, we are. <laughs> Could someone please press the emergency stop? Hmm. You're a Taurus, right? You know it. You mess with the bull, you get the horns. Know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. There's some kind of bull at this table. Got that right. Want to be my matador? I think I'll pass. Okay, Taurus. A compliment to a friend could lead to great things. Look for new job opportunities. A new job? Booyah! You hear that? Wow, another job. Another brilliant way to get fired. No. Oh, this astrologer is really good. Actually, she predicted that I should never date a Taurus. Ever. Very wise. And may I say, you're looking exceptionally fine today. Oh, brother. And may I say, you're looking very fine today, too. For you, anyway. Get out of my face. Ow! Way to put the horror in horoscope. Are you looking for a job? I am. And may I say, Jen, you are looking exceptionally fine today. Save it. Coach Halder is reorganizing the stockroom, and we could use some part-timers. Will heavy lifting be involved? Just moving boxes and stuff. Yeah, Jen. See, lifting things violates my religion. Jonesy worships at the Temple of Eternal Slack. Just trying to help you out. I better go. Break is over. Yeah, I should get back to work, too. I have to dust all the lemons. You dust the lemons? Business has been slow. Gotta bounce. Later. See ya. Kaggy Barn's having their annual look like everyone else sale this week. So? So, nothing. I just heard the clone queen saying she was looking for an extra part-timer. Heavy lifting? Not that I do. It's pretty much just folding sweaters. Cool. But I don't know how to fold sweaters. Uh, I could give you a crash course after we close. I don't know. You and I working together? Well, you know, don't come if you don't want to. No biggie. No, I'll be there. Cool. Cool. How's it going? Are you okay? Awesome. Can you help me up? Ow, ow. Ow. Speaking of pain, I've got to get back to the tacky barn. See you after work. Check it out. Nikki's setting me up with a gig at the khaki barn. Awesome. But dig this. You know what Nikki said when I told her I didn't know how to fold sweaters? They have a sweater folding machine? No, she said, hold on, a sweater folding machine? What are you, six? Dude, if they can build a device to clap on and off lights, they can build a sweater folding machine. So anyway, Nikki tells me to come by after work so she can teach me. Cool. Alone. So that's what's been stuck in there. Mmm. 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 Cherry. Dude, don't you get it? She wants me. You think every girl wants you, bro. I know, but Nikki's different. Remember last week when we went to the movies? She was practically trying to sit on my lap. Yeah, cause you took her seat. Well, how about when we went out for drinks at the banana shack, she paid for my spunky monkey. You left your wallet at home. I'm telling you, dude, she's got Jonesy vision. Okay, so what's the problemo, Chief? Do you like her? Sure, I, I like her. I, I, I like you too, so what? You like her like her, don't you? Jonesy and Nikki kissing in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Shh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my
What are you doing? When a dude's really into a chick, they give off these vibes that you can, like, smell. I think they're called fartamone. That's the freakiest thing I've ever heard, dude. It's true. Dude, you stink. Okay, I like her. But if you say a word about this to anyone, you're a dead man. Chill, dude. Your secret is safe with me. I mean it. I have to find Jen. She'll know what to do. If Jonesy and Nikki start dating, we are completely screwed. Why? What's the big deal? Because if they start dating, they are inevitably going to break up. And when they do, we'll be the ones stuck in the middle. We won't be able to go out as a group. We'll have to choose sides. I won't be able to use the word jonesing in front of Nikki anymore. It'll be a total disaster. Are you sure Jonesy's serious about Nikki? I'm a girl. Of course I'm sure. And is Nikki serious about Jonesy? Um... I don't know, but that's why we're here. To find out? To make sure it doesn't get that far. Wait here. We're going in. What about me? Girl talk, no guys allowed. Oh, come on. Look, do you want us to find out or not? Hey, Nikki. Hey, girl. Uh. So, has Jonesy asked you to babysit his youngest brother on Saturday yet? Yeah, you know little Marshall, the one who likes to hit things hard? Especially the babysitter. No, he hasn't. Oh, because he's asked all of us. He's been begging us. It isn't pretty. Only a crazy person would agree to babysit that little monster. We just wanted to let you know if he tries to bring it up and ask you, change the subject quick. Thanks for the tip. No problem. See ya. Bye. You're smooth, sister. It's a gift. So what happened? Did you find out if she likes him too? No, but if Jonesy tries to ask her out, he won't stand a chance. Yes! <laughs> now, any monkey could fold a sweater, even you. But what separates us from the clones is that we choose not to. See? You give it a try. Yeah, uh, just a sec. I'm watch. Oh, tell me he didn't just put on Dog Toy. It is her favorite band. Smart play, Jonesy. Darn it! We should have smashed the CD player. Till the day you say yes hey. to me. What are you doing? I thought while we were here alone, we could, you know, get our groove on. Sure, I guess. Do you want to try unfolding these sweaters? Maybe later. Okay, so do you have any questions? Yeah, actually, I, uh, see... Are you okay? Okay? I'm amazing! I mean, what are you doing Saturday night? All right, hold it right there, cowboy. I know what you're doing, and you can forget it. The answer is no, and please, don't beg. Man, that was a little harsh. Yes! Mission accomplished! So, if you could only have three things on a deserted island, what would they be? Ugh, if I can give you three things I'd banish to a deserted island. Sorry, Nikki. We forgot about you. <laughs> Do you think the problem might be that when the camera is on, you tense up a bit? Yeah, I think I get a little tense. Why not just pretend like the camera isn't there? Dude, <laughs> brilliant idea. Hey, how about a sour lemon pucker? Sure. Ew, what is that disgusting smell? It smells like <gasps> gym class. Oh, it must be the Raging Heat Muscle Cream I rubbed on my shoulder. It's sore from lifting all those boxes in the stock room. Ugh, oh, I hope it's worth it. It's what they put on football players so they can keep playing with broken legs. Poke me in the shoulder with a straw. Shove over, and cuppy customer. <laughs> you chased away all my customers. You can come by all stinky anytime. So obviously Jonesy will chase anything that's female. But, oh, I mean, the clones? Oh, what is with that? I... Uh, you don't think he likes them, do you? Uh-uh. I mean, they're clones. You said that already. Oh, yeah, but you didn't see him with them. This is big love fest in there. I don't get it. Why? Well... You know what? Never mind. I don't care who Jonesy spends his time with. She's hooked. Like a wide-mouthed bass. Totally into him. We cannot let them get together. Do you hear me? This calls for drastic action. <laughs> Next 
Scott, I will attempt an extreme ollie tail grab to fakey double heel flip body burial followed by a Zurich alley-oop five over the fountain. I will now pretend the camera isn't here. <laughs> Jude, are you okay? If you're thinking about hitting a janitor cart sometime soon, I would strongly advise against it. Good to know. Aw, oh, man. Even in my damaged state, I can tell these stickets are rank. Actually, you might be smelling my shoulder. Didn't see that one coming. My shoulder was sore, so I put raging heat cream on it. Good for aches and pains associated with sporting injuries. It's banned in Europe, so you know it's good. Hmm. I can't do it with you watching. OK, OK, I've got to get back anyway. Just remember, you only need a dime size amount. It's really concentrated. Oh. Uh... Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Ho, ho. <laughs> so, have you decided which one of us you want to take for lunch? I don't know. You can pick either one of us. It wouldn't matter. Sorry, clones. He's already got a lunch date. Come on. <laughs> hey. Whoa. Are we going out for lunch or the 100-meter dash? Were you seriously thinking about going out with one of the clones? You mean one of my co-workers? People do have lunch with people they work with, you know, Nikki. How would you know? You've never worked anywhere long enough to have lunch. Besides, they're pod people. Pod people who said yes. Is this about that babysitting thing? That what? Oh, forget it. Let's just eat. Um... You should have warned me we were going out. I would have stretched. Those tickets are nasty, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't believe you're not eating. You're the one who wanted to go out for lunch. It has to qualify as food before I eat it. Pass me some napkins. This is one mean burrito. Yeah, just so long as I don't hear from it later. You want a bite? No. Have a bite. No, I don't want any. Ugh, Jonesy, Ugh, you gotta know my clothes. Sorry, pass me some more napkins. Never mind, I'll do it. No, I'll get it. <gasps> oh no! You're rubbing it in. I'm erasing it. You're spreading it. Hello? Kate, we have a Nikki and Jonesy code red. Repeat, code red. Meet me in the food court. Bet you wouldn't have slopped food on Chrissy. Would you relax? Why are you being so mean? Why are you hitting on the clones? What do you care? You said you wouldn't go out! I said I wouldn't babysit for... What? You want to go out with me? No. Well, I did. So... Okay, let's go out. Okay. When? Well, now's as good a time as ever. Don't we have to go back to work? You have so much to learn about the khaki barn. I got here as fast as I could. You just missed it. Major predate activity happening. Oh no! Where'd they go? Towards the amusement park. Uh oh. Maybe I use a little too much. Whoa. <gasps> Uh-oh. Are you serious? You're scared? Heck yeah. But don't tell anyone, OK? <laughs> oh, they're so on a date. Better call for reinforcements. Is that Jen and Caitlin down there? Hi, Hi Jen. Jen! Hi, Bonnie! Oh, shoot, they saw us. Hello? Wyatt, find a way to leave work. We have a definite situation here. I'll call Jude. <laughs> Hold on, dude! Keep ringing! <laughs> mm. 
<sighs> okay, they've just bought tickets to the new romantic comedy. Uh-oh, I've seen this one. Major mush factor. We have to work fast. Ready? <sighs> Ready as I'll ever be. Let's go. Forget about the others. Darling, hold me close. You're the only one for me. Hey, guys. Oh, my gosh! I didn't know you guys would be at this movie. Great seats, guys. Popcorn, Caitlin? Oh, yeah. Hand it over. I only have eyes for you. Pop? Thanks. So thirsty. Pop? No thanks, dude. Got mine. What are they doing here? I don't know. Oh, I love this part. This is where she kisses him for the very first time. Want some popcorn? Thanks. Ooh. Licorice on anybody? Your lips taste like sweet flavor. I love you. And I love you. Oh, man, what am I gonna do? My mouth is still working. Bonus! I completely forgot I had a mouth there for a second. Okay, no need to panic. Use my mouth. Mm. 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 Okay, I need to panic. Don't worry about walking out early. I can tell you how it ends over ice cream. Some other time, maybe. I know how not knowing how a movie ends can bug you. Right now, that's not what's bugging me. Look, the sticket is empty. Where's Jude? I don't know, come on. But I called him earlier and there was no answer. He always answers. We don't have time right now. <gasps> Look, it's empty. If Jude used that much, he could really be in trouble. We can't let them out of our sight. Let's go. Heart muscle, don't relax. You, you keep going in there, heart muscle dude. Stanley, is that you, mini dude? Yeah. I need you to go to the penalty box and get Jen. Can you do that, buddy? How much you got? There's a fiver in my back pocket with your name on it. You stink. <sighs> Wyatt! What happened? I don't know. They kind of got away from me. I didn't know what to do. <gasps> They're going to kiss. <laughs> <laughs> no! We have to stop them. There's nothing we can do now. It's over. <laughs> it's Jude! Jude! <gasps> hey. Are you okay? I can't use my arms. Get him up. You're gonna be okay. Guess that's it for tonight. Yep, you really know how to show a girl a good time. Jude, you're a genius. I'll get you some water. Huh? I'll try to find an antidote. Maybe some coffee will help. Be right back. Maybe sometime we can lock all these guys in a closet and try again? Oh, no. Weirder things have happened. Coach said the important thing is to keep your blood circulating and drink plenty of water. Water, gotcha. How's the patient, Doctor? The heat cream should be out of his system in about eight hours. Eight hours? Maybe sooner if you work it out. I'll help you, bro. Uh, me too. Up you get. Hey, isn't that the unmistakable aroma of those fartamones things again? Uh, no, I think that's just Jonesy's burrito. Well, guys, here's to a job well done. Way to keep them apart. We were so clever. They didn't stand a chance. Great movie choice, by the way. A chick flick? I was trying to be a gentleman. I thought chicks dig them. Well, maybe the clones. Ooh. <laughs> oh, sorry, dude. I was aiming for Nikki. No worries, dude. That butt cheek's still asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Stick it? Don't mind if I do. You look like you're all better. Yeah, I can feel every part of my body again. Just don't be doing it in front of us, okay? These stickets are great. Yeah, they melt in your mouth. 
That's because I use the best meat tenderizer ever. I think I recognize the spice. <gasps> Jude, you didn't! I shall never reveal the Colonel's secret recipe, but I can tell you it's the choice of football players everywhere. Oh, man. Dude? Nice. I can't feel my lips.